Tonight, colleagues and fans in shock after the sudden passing of veteran broadcaster Drew Morford. A man's body dumped in front of a block of Bayswater North units. Thousands converge on the city to voice their support for marriage equality. The biggest storm in a decade unleashes on Texas. Ping pong tables and parkland, how the state government hopes to beautify Skyrail. And the D's in danger of missing the finals after a shock loss to Collingwood. This is Nine News with Alicia Loxley. Good evening. Veteran broadcaster Drew Morford is tonight being mourned after his sudden passing at just 69. Known for his decades in commentary as well as love of sport, Morford is also being remembered as a great mate. Ayrton Woolley has this tribute. It was only a month ago Drew Morford made his final television appearance, joining Rex Hunt for a skit on the footy show. He's gone! That fun, the trademark of Morford's many broadcasts. Wren giving chase, Ooh. what a sprint. This is something to watch. Madden goes long for goal. He might have kicked it. Oh. Sensational. Morford died peacefully last night at the Pakenham property he shared with wife Karen, watching the Hawthorne Western Bulldogs match. As you said, what a beautiful way to die. Watching the game he loves, having a glass of red, and, uh, and it was all over from there. At just 69, his passing has come as a shock. Drew was the last one you'd imagine we'd be hearing about first, in a sense, and uh, it cut the ground from, from under my feet. Having begun his career with the ABC in 1966, Morfitt was a genuine sporting all-rounder, covering six Olympic Games, golf and cricket. When Greg, at medium pace, bounced Lily a tailender, it was like waving a red flag at a bull. Despite hailing from Sydney, Morford also made his name in football, hosting the winners in the late 70s. There really were some magnificent highlights in the preliminary final, and if next week's grand final is anything like that, what a game it should be. It was then in the late 80s he made the switch to Channel 7, his catch cry following the game's greats. But to those who knew him best, there was so much more to Morfitt's life and it's those memories that will be most enduring. I'll come back next week and we'll talk about his social life, Sandy, but we'll, that'll take a lot longer. We'll need at least a two-hour show. Those stories to be shared in the coming days, his many colleagues, each with their own to tell. There's a funeral going to be had here at the MCG this week. And it won't be just a funeral. It'll be one of the greatest roasts of all time. And that's what he would love. Magnificent. Ayrton Woolley. Nine News.